Welcome folks, Dr. Charles Parker here. We're hitting today, we're hitting number four of seven videos on the important drop in the afternoon. And what's so frequently missed is the fact that a stimulant lasts less than 24 hours, lasts anywhere from three or four, two hours, one hour to 12 hours, but it doesn't last 24 hours. And that whole business of how it burns is so frequently misunderstood. The drop in the afternoon is meaningful, can teach us a lot about what's going on with the psych medications, and if we understand stimulant medications accurately, we can understand what that drop in the afternoon is trying to tell us. Now, we made the point that the first was an overview. The second video was talking very specifically about how you can go into a cognitive disarray in the afternoon because the medication just simply isn't working. That's number two. Then number three shifted because we started looking at a different neurotransmitter system. We started saying, hey, there's another neurotransmitter system at play. It's not all dopamine that when you have a sad drop, it's an emotional problem. Dropping in the afternoon has something to do with serotonin and the serotonin dopamine imbalance, which we cover in a video here. Now this mad drop is the same. It does have serotonin implications. This is not Everybody that drops bad in the afternoon is not bipolar. In fact, most of the time they're not bipolar. If a person's bipolar on a stimulant medication, a little bit of stimulant medication sends them right out the roof for all day. By the way, that doesn't necessarily mean they're bipolar. It could mean that they're not metabolizing it correctly. But certainly the drop of being mad in the afternoon has nothing to do with bipolar illness. If they were bipolar, they would have been bipolar all day. The drop in the afternoon has a lot to do with serotonin imbalance. But what happens is so many people think that the only type of serotonin drop is our old friend depression that we just covered in the previous video. Well, there are a lot of people who are mad who also have serotonin problems. Irritation, my favorite word here is touchy. Touchy can be sad, it can be mad, as you're going to see in the next video, whatever. I'm touchy, so I'm not going to get involved. I'm touchy, so I'm mad, and it makes me, I'm, my feelings get hurt, but I'm not going to admit my feelings are hurt, I'm just going to get mad, and then I'm sad, my feelings really are hurt. Those are all touchy, somatic, sensitive feeling problems. So I'll just give you a quick little bit on the drop in the afternoon, that is a mad drop. I've talked about it elsewhere in this video here. The bottom line, you can learn more about it. It's a little three more minutes, but the bottom line here is a person who drops in the afternoon, think of Clint Eastwood in Gran Torino. Think of Clint Eastwood in High Plains Drifter. The Stranger, you know, good, the bad, and the ugly. Fistful of dollars. What is that guy doing in the West? He is bitter. Pardon me. He is mad. He is he's suffering from PTSD in every single one of those movies. He's been beat up and he is there is Dickens to pay. He's not going to put up with this anymore. And what he's done, I'm going to tell you, if you move, I'm going to have to kill you. Nothing personal. So what happens is he has an attitude that is a negative attitude, a bitter attitude. So many of these guys come in. And they tell me right off the bat, they're adults, and I say, look, my wife thinks I'm depressed. But doctor, I want to make it really clear. I am not depressed. She thinks I'm depressed. Am I touchy? Am I irritable? Yeah. So guess what? Sir, what I'm going to tell you is, I'm not going to give you an antidepressant. I'm going to give you an anti-touchy pill. Would that work out all right? Sure. So it happens to be Zoloft. You, Yes, it's an antidepressant. We're not treating depression. We're treating touchy. Do you want to get better from being touchy or do you want to remain touchy? And if we give you a stimulant medication for that ADD you've had your whole life, you're going to get more touchy. Do you think your wife's going to like that? Think about it. And it's going to happen at a very specific time in the afternoon when the medication wears off. Touchy, mad, think serotonin, think of the basal ganglion seesaw, more on touchy whatever in this next video, touchy whatever, my friends, I'm going to tell you right now, has something to do with serotonin. Stay tuned. Talk to you in a minute. 
Have a great day. See you.